stopped talking when I was six years old. I didn't want anything more to do with the outside world. I was happy being quiet. But of course, they wouldn't leave me alone. My parents tried every trick in the book. From speech therapists to child psychologists. They even tried bribery. I could have anything, as long as I said it out loud. Life is unfair Kill yourself or get over it Life is unfair Kill yourself or get over it Of course this episode didn't last forever I'd made my point and it was time to move on to peel away the next layer of deceit and see what new surprises lay in store. My school reports that I showed no interest, a disruptive influence. I felt sorry for them in a way. And when they finally expelled me, it didn't mean a thing. Life is unfair. yourself or get over it Life is unfair Kill yourself or get over it At that time she didn't stop what she was doing She stopped playing She stared She had the facial grimacing And then the psychiatrist was saying Julie, Julie, can you hear me? Can you open your eyes? Stick out your tongue. And all of a sudden, Julie struck out. The November day I came home, the Christmas decorations were already up. Spray on snow, coloured flashing lights, and an artificial tree that played Silent Night over and over again. My parents welcomed me with loving arms that within an hour were back at each other's throats. Normal happy childhood back on course, batteries not included. Life is unfair. Kill yourself or get over it. Life is unfair. 